All right, guys, today's topic of interest is this guy right here. This is the HXJ35. This is an analog two axis joystick. You have an X axis, a Y axis, and it has a little click button. Now that is a digital button. Everything else is analog. And the reason we're showing you this today is because we're going to be doing a video in the future building a cat toy and we're going to use this to control it. So let's hook it up to the Uno. We're going to use this five connector DuPont cable here. And let's see, I'm going to go to a macro mode here, let's see if I can focus on this. All right, there you can see the connections we have ground plus five volts vrx and vry and at the bottom switch so we're going to put our ground and power oh that's really wrong all right ground is that orangey color power is red jeez paul Power is red. <laughs> this is just for me. I mean, you can make the colors whatever you want. X is yellow. Y is green. And my button is blue. B for button. Now we will hook up to the Arduino. We'll start with our yellow and green are two uh, axis connections. They go on analog zero and analog one. Then we have our power and ground connections, which go to ground and plus five volt. And then we have our digital connection, which I'm putting in D7. So now we're all connected and ready to rock. Let's go over to the PC and generate some code to read this thing. All right, here is our code for reading the joystick. We're going to create an integer variable X for the X position, integer variable Y for the Y position, and an integer button to determine whether the button is up or down. Then we're going to define x-axis as analog 0, y-axis as A1, and the button as digital 7. Then we're going to come down here to our setup. We're going to turn on our serial comm so we can view what's going on. The only pin mode we need to set is the output, so that's the button, and we're going to set it for input pull-up. So it's going to be sitting in a digital logic high mode. When you press the button, it will pull it to ground and go to zero. Now we're going to come down here to our code. X equals analog read of X axis. Y equals analog read of Y axis. And button equals digital read of the button. So that gives us the state or the position of the joystick for every loop through here. Now, this is grayed out at the moment. This is what I did the first time in order to find out where my center positions were. And for my particular joystick, X center was 481 and Y center was 494. So go ahead and do that for yours so you can figure out where your center positions are. Now we come down here and we determine what the presses of the joystick are. So we say if X is less than 470, print up. If it's greater than 500, print down. Now we determine that the X was um, 481 at center. And the reason these aren't directly at 481 is we've given it a little bit of a buffer zone. And if we say X is inside that buffer zone, 
then x is centered. All right. Then we do the same thing with y. If it's less than 480, print right. If it's greater than 510, print left. Otherwise, print center. And then we print out the position of the button, whether it's 1 or 0. Then we wait a half second, and that just makes it easier to read. It's really not necessary. All right. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so we have up, up, down, down, left, left, right, right, click at the button, click at the button, and we can also go two at a time. And we can also up go left, two at a time. Up down left, right, down right. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. So now you know how to read the values from the joystick and translate them into useful up, down, left, right movements. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and on other websites and blogs. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for? Come on already.